Good day, everyone. If you have a Honda Talon with the Honda full cab enclosure, you've probably figured out by now that there's no mirror set available for that with the enclosure installed. So I got tired of waiting. I've had alternatives for a year on there, and I finally decided to make my own. So if you look at these dimensions and you use a 1 8 inch piece of sheet aluminum, or probably better would be steel. I just don't have the ability to work with steel at this point. Cut it out so that you end up with a shape that looks like this. Sand all the edges smooth. And then this photo shows where I have sanded a half round into the short end so that it accommodates the shape of the cab enclosure where it attaches to the door frame. Put the plate in a vise and bend the short end so that it's at 90 degrees. When you're making the other piece for the other side, bend it the opposite direction. Slide them in there and mark the hole to be drilled so that you can mount it to the enclosure mount on the door. Drill a 3 8 inch hole where you marked it. Then you slide it back in there and actually mount it and draw another line so that when it's bent upward, it will come into close contact with the cab enclosure. Make sure that the contact point is very tight against the enclosure. I added a stiffener and uh, used some rivets and it really does stiffen it up quite a bit. In fact, it doesn't wobble at all when I'm driving. Once you get that hole drilled, slide it back into place under the cab enclosure, put the screw through the cab enclosure mount and tighten it up. Then go to the other side and drill a hole directly into this tube large enough to accommodate a sheet metal screw. Then attach it with a sheet metal screw to the frame of the cab enclosure and tighten it up so that it's very tight against the enclosure. Now you can install the mirror and adjust it. You're done. So this is the view from the driver's seat of those uh, spike mirrors installed. Now this is what they, uh, they look like installed. Pretty sturdy. Passenger side. I do want to say that for $109, these spike mirrors uh, feel much cheaper in quality than some of the stuff I've paid like $49 for. Uh, I've had these uh, RTV tech mirrors, just one of them on there uh, for better part of a year. And this thing's solid. I mean, and it, it has breakaway which they claim the spike mirrors have too, but they're the only game in town if you want to do it this way. Uh, I have not found another solution to this problem.